Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 bringing you collecting tip number 17. This one's called Buy In Bulk. And I'm bringing you this video from my university house with the backdrop of the wall I painted. So if you want to take a look at the video for that wall, I'll post the link right here. It has a really cool Zelda dubstep song in the video too. Anyways, off to this collecting tip, Buy In Bulk. So this can be when you buy in bulk locally or online, doesn't really matter. But oftentimes I can find an N64 console with a whole whack of games, maybe way more than this, maybe 5 to 10 games, for $100 or less. And if you know, my other previous collecting tip was called, well basically you have to have knowledge of games. You need to know how much they're worth. So if you knew that a lot of them are worth $20 each, even if you have some of them, you can keep the ones you want and then sell all the other ones to try and make a profit. So for example, I remember finding this green Nintendo 64 with these games. Cocker's Bad Fur Day. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Goldeneye 007, Super Mario 64, and Paper Mario. And it was $100 for all that set. And that's pretty expensive, but not if you actually know the value of all of the games when I buy them in bulk. Many of them, yes, I already had, but Conker's Bad Fur Day, like a $40 game, $10 game for Mortal Kombat, maybe a $7 game for Goldeneye, maybe $20 or $15 for this, maybe $30 to $40 bucks for that plus the green console. So all of it totaled combined might be, say, 150, 140. Really depends who I'm selling it to. It also came with an expansion pack and a controller. So what I would do, obviously, like I said, buy the whole lot and then keep what I want and sell off what you already have. Or even talk to your friends. Maybe you will pick up some games that they might want and then, you know, you can share it. So that's a really good idea. When you want to buy on eBay and you find a really good set, paying shipping sometimes doesn't make it worth it when you're buying a big lot, unless you find a really good deal. Keep in mind that a lot of the games like Super Mario 64, almost everyone already has, so they don't always want to buy a lot with it because they already have it. But if you buy it and you happen to somehow sell the game locally, you can make some money on that. The goal that I always had when I started out collecting was to break even. So I would buy a big lot, huge lot usually, and then sell off everything and try and make back all the money I spent and then keep what I wanted. Another example right now of really inexpensive lots are GameCube lots. I don't know why, but for one reason or another, if a parent is selling a GameCube lot, they don't really understand like GameCubes are expensive for the games. GameCubes themselves are like 15, 20 bucks. But here's like a lot of games that I could get. And this is a tremendously good lot. But it was a parent selling the whole lot because the kid was going away to university. It was on Kijiji. I felt bad, but I bought it. So almost all of these, when I bought this, I had. But I still needed, I think, Pikmin 1, Twilight Princess for the GameCube because I had it on the Wii. And I think I needed Luigi's Mansion at the time. The rest of them I had. But I brought them up to university for the doubles. And the other ones I brought up to just to remind myself of the lot. So it's a great idea if you can get doubles really cheap. GameCube lots right now, really inexpensive. So that's collecting tip number 17 from a university house. Buy in bulk when you can, sell off the things that you can for doubles, and then make your money back, and slowly build your collection that way. Have a great day, guys. Feel free to subscribe, and have a great weekend.